Hello, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at a USB 3 and SATA 3 6 gigabit PCI Express X2 card. Um, I will be using this on an older motherboard that has only SATA 2 on it and USB 2. So this will be a nice little speed bump for the solid state drive that is in the computer. Um, I have one of these solid state drives in the computer right now. I just recently put it in. This is another one. I've got three of these. This one I'll be putting in my newer desktop that has SATA 3 integrated into it. And I'm that I'm currently running a RAID 0 SSD set on. So um, anyway, here's a quick unboxing. This has two SATA 3 internal ports and two external USB 3. Now you're really not going to be able to expect to get the same kind of performance that you would out of a high-end card that uses an X4 PCI Express interface but it's still going to be a good bump over stock SATA 2 regardless. Here are your two SATA ports <clears throat> and this is a power port that you will need to plug in so um and here are your two USB 3 ports here is a low profile back plate depending on what kind of case you'll be installing it into and a driver disk uh, this card supports Windows XP, Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, so you'll be good. You should be good all around. So it says USB 3 will run at 5 gigabit and the SATA 3 will run at 6. But we'll see if that really is the case. I'm really not expecting to get more than uh, 400 megabit speeds out of the SSD. Even though it's capable of over 500, but we shall see um, in my tests. So I'm going to give you a comparison of the performance of this solid state drive on the SATA 2 port and then on the SATA 3 ports. I will also demonstrate performance of a USB 3 external hard drive on a SATA 2 port and then again on the SATA 3 ports. And um, here's a quick look at uh, this baby. Also, it comes with imaging software and utilities for improving the speed and for backups. This does not include a bracket, so if you need a bracket so that way this will screw into a standard uh, three and a half inch bay, you will need to get one separately. And I would also like to note that this is very thin, so this is thinner than your normal two and a half inch uh, drive so you can fit this SSD into like the ultra thin laptop setter out there so without any worries and uh, alright so the next part will be on to testing the card out in the machine installed